Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Heller. Let's take a look at the top stories for today. Some commotion at Flint City Council on Wednesday night. Multiple arguments among council members over rules violations. Well, in the end, a resolution to use $5 million of pandemic aid for home repairs was dropped from the agenda. Four Lakes Task Force holding an informational meeting to provide updates on the lakes and dams in Midland and Gladwin counties. The meeting is focusing on costs and finances. You can join online. It's at 3 o'clock. Register through the hot link section on WNEM.com. Happy 810 day to the city of Flint. Today is a great day for them, August 10th, of course. Celebrations will center around Buckham Alley, including a taste of 810. There will be a fashion show along Water Street Bridge. Flint Institute of Arts offering 20% off Flint made and inspired merch at its gift shop. There's a free concert at 810 p.m. on First Street and a nighttime bike ride at 9 p.m. Here's Matthews checking out your morning forecast. Thank you, Blake. For our Thursday, just a few isolated showers in the northern thumb as of right now. We really aren't expecting too much rain for your Thursday. It'll be slightly cooler than Wednesday, too. Highs only up to around 80, and those rain chances today are still fairly isolated to scattered at best, just with a cold front moving through, but there isn't too much moisture for that cold front to feed off of, so we eventually are mostly sunny for the late afternoon, mostly clear this evening and tonight. We are tracking the potential for some uh, at least stronger thunderstorms on Friday afternoon, but again, and that chance for your Friday is going to be more isolated of seeing that strong to severe weather potential, mainly because we'll have some showers earlier in the afternoon, even some scattered rain towards dinner. We'll see a couple of storms trying to form closer to 8 p.m., but even at this point in the day, we're losing our storm fuel because we're losing the heating of the day, so we do need a stronger warm front to offset this to be able to see some of those stronger storms. Otherwise, rain just stays scattered into Friday evening and Friday night. Those rain totals will range around a quarter to a half of an inch. Higher totals locally directly under any thunderstorms where they get up over a half of an inch. Otherwise, we aren't looking at as much rain as we picked up on Sunday last weekend. First alert 7 day forecast is 77 tomorrow too. We're back to 80 for your Saturday, then 77 again on Sunday, and then we start off next week on Monday with another round of rain. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.